goodness. Williams goes down, tries to call a timeout before she travels, and she does. She was so excited at shooting around earlier today, telling her teammates that her dad would be in the building, and he is indeed. Timeout. Next dad. <laughs> The WNBA playoffs presented by Google continues here on ESPN2 with a pair of Game 3 semifinals on Friday. We will be joining you from Uncasville. Game 3 of this series between Minnesota and Connecticut, 7.30 Eastern. And then out west, it's the Liberty trying to close out the Aces. Coming up Friday, WNBA countdown coverage starts at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 4 o'clock Vegas time. You think the Liberty will still be Aces? I think they can, but I am not predicting that. Tough game tonight. Liberty able to outlast Las Vegas to take a two game to none lead. Fans here, after seeing a replay on the big board, wanted a challenge on that possession call, but Minnesota didn't take it. Burton tried to save it in from the piece of Collier. Who else? is there to grab it. Collier yelled for the ball, got it from Williams and just missed. Man, at home in the targets, and it's been such a tough day shooting-wise for Collier. Thomas loved it for Carrington, yes, and the foul. Smith picks up her second foul. All right, Carrington has an opportunity to make this a two-possession ball game. Now, on the night, the Sun have not shot the three well. They're shooting just 26% from the three-point line. But with just under 90 seconds to go, first you're going to have to come up with the stop. You can't afford... Oh, boy. Well, that's... Didn't need that. Yeah, big miss. Nafisa Collier, nine points, 12 rebounds, five assists, four blocks. Not scoring the ball well, missing a lot of shots, but doing everything else. Shot clock at three for Williams. She doesn't need three seconds to get to the basket. But show, as Courtney Williams says in her very Southern Georgia accent, Pops is loving it. From Southeast Georgia. <laughs> Avery barely touched the rim, much to the delight of this target center crowd and the Minnesota Lynx who fell by three in game one will even up this series it becomes a best of three as we head back to Connecticut and the Sun I'm sure are looking forward to getting home sleeping in their own bed getting back to their true routines tonight they just looked a little bit gassed particularly as jump shots have come up short pretty consistently for them and they will get the extra day remember they won't play until friday connecticut will travel home tonight chartering home tonight they'll get in late but as you said at least they'll be home third foul on smith eight Minnesota Lynx players have gotten into the game. All of them have scored at least four points. Great balance. Courtney Williams with 17 points leading the way. There, there. Sorry, Connecticut, on the other hand, pardon me, Monica, just. That the Lynx have is one thing that stood out when you look at the strengths of the top four teams in the standings of them. The Lynx got the most productivity out of their bench. And we think, we just mentioned the schedule of the postseason. It's grueling. It's intense games with short turnarounds. Depth certainly is a bonus. What's the chance? What are they saying? Our house. Our house. Our house. Okay. Got Connecticut got no closer than seven points here in the fourth quarter. They have won seven straight games in the Lynx's house. That string is broken, and most importantly for them, they have tied up this best of five semi at a game apiece. These teams know each other so well. Ultimately, this will come down to a game of will. Of course, there's plenty of things for the Sun to clean up post-game 
didn't shoot the ball particularly well tonight and had some defensive lapses, but they do get to go home and they get another bite at the apple.